What's up guys, Jay Bubba here. Armor is very important in New World, and I just want to create a quick video to, uh, to talk to you guys about, about what's important and, and some things you should know about how the armor works. So the armor a player decides to equip in New World determines a lot about how your character functions in and out of combat. All of the equipable armor comes with a specific physical and, and elemental resistance, as well as a weight that determines how quickly or slowly your character moves. Like weapons, armor may also provide your character with specific weapon ability perks, general perks, and attribute point bonuses that can be obtained through perks and gem slots. So there are three categories that I'm gonna follow throughout this video. The first is the gear system and how all of that works, the various benefits of armor, and then how to obtain armor throughout your journey in Eternum. Also guys, there's some construction going on right below me, so if there's background noise, I apologize for that. It starts at friggin' 7 a.m. every day, and it uh, it's kind of hard for me to find some time to video without it going on, so uh, hopefully you don't hear that, but uh, that's just sometimes the way it goes. So I'm going to have this Satine Duelist shirt of the Mage up as an example and just walk you guys through what, what each section means. So a piece of armor can either be bound to player or bind on equip. If you receive a piece of armor, um, either from the trading post, um, if you receive it through a trade, or if you find it yourself through a loot chest or from a monster, um, and it says bind on equip, that means that piece of armor can be traded or sold. Once you equip an armor that says bind and equip, it will uh, it will ask you, are you sure you want to equip this? It will become bound to player. And when it becomes bound to player, that means you cannot trade it or sell it. And it basically is yours um, forever until you salvage it or if you just put it in a storage bank or anything. But it can never be traded or sold to anyone else. Keep in mind that all of the pieces of armor that you will receive from completing quests will be bound to player um, and these are pretty good so just keep that in mind that you can't sell them and uh, if you get a piece of armor that that is just statted incorrectly for you then salvage it is really the only way you can go with that every piece of armor has a tier given to it and these tier levels are based on the level requirement so tier 2 is level 1 to 19 tier 3 is level 20 to 39 tier 4 is level 40 to 59 and tier 5 is level 60. Now the gear score located at the top of the armor UI is based solely on the physical and elemental resistances that the piece of armor possesses. The higher the gear score, the more damage mitigation the armor will offer. And like the tier, uh, like the tier level, the gear score also follows a similar system. So tier two is gear score 100 to 299. Tier three is gear score 250 to 399. Tier 4 is gear score 350 to 499, and tier 5 is gear score 450 to 600. It's important to keep in mind that because a certain piece of armor has a higher gear score, doesn't always mean that it will be better or more beneficial than a different piece of armor, um, depending on your playstyle and the weapons you use. So, for example, a chest piece with plus 8 strength and 200 gear score could be much better for you than a chest piece with plus 2 strength and 240 gear score. So. Always look at the attributes and the perks that a piece of armor uh, possesses instead of the gear score. Unless you're going maybe full tank and you just want the just want the resistances, then um, maybe look at the resistances. But it, it definitely depends on your playstyle and, and the sort of weapons that you're using. Now the armor rarity, which is located in the top right of the armor UI, um, also follows a uh, very familiar rarity system that you've probably seen in other MMOs. And so the color of the piece of armor um, that you may find is sort of a good baseline to follow, um, you know, the, the progression of, of how good the piece of armor actually is. Um, so there's common items that are gray, uncommon, like the sateen shirt, which is green, rare items that are blue, epic items that are purple, and legendary items that are orange. And generally, the rarer items have a higher chance of possessing a gem slot, perks, and attribute points. So, for example, a, an uncommon green piece of armor may possess just a gem slot, uh, maybe just an attribute bonus or both, but a legendary item like the Spear of the Corrupted Assault will always come equipped with five total benefits. So it'll come with a gem slot, a weapon ability perk, an attribute bonus, and two general perks. So we have the gear system out of the way, let's jump into the actual benefits of armor. 
And the first we'll be looking at are the bonuses. So um, there are two bonuses that can be applied to a piece of armor, and they are perks and gem slots. And perks will give the player specific buffs, such as luck, corruption resistance, and attribute point bonuses. And there's also more specific perks that can benefit a weapon or maybe like a gathering or crafting profession, such as contagious reverse stab and mining luck. And gems can also be equipped into armor that will grant grant you additional benefits. So most of the benefits that a gem will grant a player are ward buffs that reduce or absorb a specific class of damage, like the elemental ward one gem that is slotted into pieces of armor. And so these benefits are great and you can stat uh, primarily for the weapon that you're running. So for, you know, if you're running a great ax or a uh, warhammer, then maybe you want to stat just for strength or maybe strength and constitution. So, um, you know, being on the lookout for those stats on these pieces of armor will be will be very beneficial to you. The next benefit of armor is the physical and elemental resistances. Um, and so physical resistances help mitigate damage from all melee weapon types like slash and range damage such as thrust and elemental resistances on the other hand help mitigate damage from all schools of magic like fire and lightning or ice. And a key factor that every player should keep note of is that the heavier your armor is, the higher both of these ratings will be. So, for example, the Star Metal Soldier Helm has a higher elemental and physical armor rating than, let's say, the Layered Leather Sorcerer Hunter Coat. So let's get into the final benefit of armor and what I believe to be the most detrimental and important benefit to your playstyle, and that is the armor weight. So all equipable pieces of armor are categorized by weight class. They are either light, medium, or heavy. And the combination of all pieces of armor that you are equipping and the shield um, that you have on your back all amount to a certain equip load. And those are either light, medium, or heavy. And they all come with different bonuses. Um, not only that, but each equip load also allows you to dodge a specific... A specific length so if you're in the light equip load for example a player's dodge is a quick roll that covers a lot of distance and you also receive that 20 percent overall damage bonus if you are in the medium equip load then your dodge is a quick hop and you receive a 10 percent overall damage bonus as well as a 10 percent cc duration so all your stuns um, all your slows all of those crowd control uh, abilities are extended by 10 percent and the heavy which is obviously the heaviest that you'll be, uh, you get a small sidestep as a dodge, but you receive a 15% block stability bonus, as well as a 20% crowd control duration, which is absolutely insane for those Sword and Shield Warhammer players when they can stay really tanky and also, um, you know, throw out a very long uh, CCs. Keep in mind that you don't have to actually be wearing all light gear to be in the light equip load or all medium gear to be in the medium equip load and so on and so forth you can actually mix and match a little bit and i think um if i remember correctly i was wearing two or three pieces of medium armor and two or three pieces of light armor and i was actually in the light equip load so just keep track of that and um you know keep track of the of the uh, weight limit there on the on the left side of the picture which is going to be in your um, character UI when you're playing the game just click tab and then both of these will pop up and um, just keep track of that and you can honestly if you, you can sit right below the threshold um, of a weight and be in that equip load so you know you're getting the benefit of the physical and elemental ratings and staying in the equip load that you want to be in so the last section I want to talk about is how to actually obtain armor in New World uh, you can obtain armor by looting chests crafting trading either by trader uh, player to player or in the trading post finding armor through monster drops and buying them uh, by faction vendors and as you begin to explore a turn them and defeat monsters um, these pieces of armor that monsters can drop have a random chance of possessing attribute bonuses perks and gem slots and for most cases the higher level monsters and, and chests that you'll loot in higher level zones will have a higher chance of dropping higher tier and higher gear score armor. Um, keep in mind, this is also very important, is that to obtain a specific weapon trait or um, maybe a specific attribute bonus or gem, 
The best way to do so is by crafting it and using the correct charm. Um, and if you don't do that, and if you can't find the charm, then just crossing your fingers and hoping for a random chance. Uh, you know, by by looting a chest or getting it from a monster, or just look at the trading post, and um, there's going to be a lot of it's going to be a lot of pieces of armor pretty quickly on the trading post for for you to buy. So always keep an eye on that. If you guys have made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Um, I did want to show you guys this though. A few weeks ago, I joined a team of guys alongside Breddy and Studi, who you may know, um, called NewWorldHub.gg. Uh, the link for this will be in the description and we've basically created a lot of guides um expedition guides pve and pve pvp weapon guides basic guides like choose your armor and choose your faction and things like that um and we've been really excited about this we've been putting a lot of a lot of work into this so i hope you guys like it and um you know the pvp guides are i think going to help a lot of people who who are new to this game and want something to to look at or maybe just follow you know click on it and follow the build have it up have it up on your second monitor if you have one and, and just follow it along as you as you level through new world and we've also created a leveling guide and there's a free version right now that'll bring you up to level 20 and um you know this leveling guide has walkthroughs from level one all the way to level 60. so you know if you guys are into new world and you want to see some guides Go check it out. The links for these will all be in the description below. So this video went a little bit longer than I uh, expected, <laughs> but hopefully it answered all your questions about armor. Um, and if there's anything else you need to know, just feel free to to leave it in the comment section. And um, I'll try to answer all your guys' questions to the best of my ability. And I wanted to give a special shout out to New World Database. Um, and I'll leave a link to their website in the description below. Um, you know, they, they have an amazing website of basically the entire database of all the weapons, all the armor, everything in New World is in that database. So go and check that out. And um, they also have a skill builder and and a bunch of guides that, that'll help you. So definitely recommend checking them out. Um, I also have a TikTok that I'm going to leave here on the, on the screen and um, a Twitch that I'll be streaming on. Uh, come come release on the 28th which is only eight days away which is freaking exciting um thank you guys so much for watching uh feel free if you liked the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you if you want to be notified when uh when i release new uh new world content um, again guys thanks so much and i'll talk to you soon